hey guys welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to be sharing with you guys some things that you should know before you launch a business or actually launch a product line or something like that and i'm doing this video because of an experience that i had so i'm going to be sharing that experience as well with you guys um all the things i'm going to mention today yeah are things that um i know but there's only one thing there that i did not know like I, I kind of had an idea, but I didn't know how to implement it. So, and I'm like, wow. Anyway, that like, I'm just going to have to share with you guys. So like you guys don't go through the same thing. Like, Cause it's paining me like really bad, like really, really bad. So let's get into the video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shiba. If you're new here and on this channel, I talk about business, branding, content creation for now. And I'm trying to still incorporate lifestyle into my videos so if you do love this content please hit the subscribe button please like my video and watch my other videos as well i'm going to link up in the cards and on my end screen and guys please watch to the end because like i'm about to like say some things that some of you guys may have heard before or don't know about so whichever way it's gonna work out fine so the first thing i'm going to talk about here is planning your business like i've said this thing over and over again on my channel i did a video on like um how to write a business plan so I'm going to link it up in the cards. I think it's this way. Yeah, I'm going to link it up in the cards. And um, basically, you guys can watch that video on how to actually write a business plan. But why I'm saying you shouldn't start your business or launch something without planning it out is because you will just be going up and down anyhow, anyhow, without any direction in place. And you need to know what you want to do. Like, okay, what, okay, what exactly am I going to do? How am I going to achieve this? Who are people I'm trying to target? Who are people that are going to actually buy this product from me? And all of that. So you need to be able to plan that out, either for your business or for a particular product line that you want to launch. You need to plan it out and know what you're going to do, where you're going to source your, get your resources from, how you're going to fund the project, and all of that. You need to plan everything else. I need to also have plan A, plan B, in case things go south. So that's one thing about planning your business. So for me, my experience here, yeah, my experience was me launching this Thai collection thingy for my fashion brand which was supposed to be like the start of my fashion business yeah it is the start of my fashion business here yeah, just for me to get into the space and when i planned i planned it beginning ending of last year yeah and i planned it because in my school yeah guys are so we're all supposed to dress corporate to class and exams so um guys in the male students in my school always have ties on so i was like okay it's, and then my brand is all about african afrocentric and like you know um promoting the afghan cultures and stuff like that so by the way name of my brand is ashley in case you guys are i'm going to link the um instagram account so you guys can follow yeah and check out stuff i did i actually made them by myself okay but anyway so my idea was that okay i'm going to make these ties um a new type because like nobody well people have started wearing like ankara ties and stuff like that in school but they were most like most times playing just ankara alone so I was like, okay, let me do something different and like, you know, so I can like sell to you guys in school. So, um, ending of last year, um, I planned everything out and um, someone planned everything out together and we came up with a strategy and everything and it was fine. Like, we all knew that it was going to work because it's Covenant University. Like, we have, I've been in the school for four years and I know how Covenant University guys sell their stuff and like, they always make money. So I was like, okay, I'm going to do the same but like we said we just a little bit of the twist and all so my timing was set right at that time so now this brings me to my second point timing guys you need to know when these people are actually ready to buy if your product is in christmas in the line of christmas um decorations and stuff you won't be selling it in the middle of the year because then who's going to buy it like except people that are really really like trying to plan ahead and like they want to like you know buy their christmas things ahead which i don't i don't know anybody that does that but like most times always during christmas period and end of the year that people buy christmas things so you want to if you're going to like produce something that is christmas related you want to make it available at that time so that you actually make money from it yeah okay so that being said timing timing is important so in my case yeah timing was my my perfect timing was during the school semester and like the few weeks before the semester actually resumes so i was really targeting that moment before the semester resumes and i wanted to start with like the omega semester that second semester the first semester was the ending of last year september to this year february 
right so in my mind i was like okay after this year february i'll go home for holiday for two weeks i'll finish sewing the ties by myself because like i tried this doing this the first time and the first tailor spoiled all the ties for me so i was like and then i can sew a bit so i was like okay ties are not hard to sew so let me just sew them by myself and i got sewing machine a very cute sewing machine and i said i was going to sew them during the holiday two weeks package and everything and then take them back to school and like it was even easier for me because I won't have to really worry about delivery and all of that because we're all in the same school and like I can just give my male friends to send it to their hall because girls are not allowed to enter the male hostel. So that was like all settled and everything. Like timing was right. Everything was right. My planning was right. My planning, everything was good. Then COVID came. And I, sh- I as a person, I should have just sat down and just like, okay, tell myself that I'm going to launch this thing when COVID goes. But guess what I did? I still went ahead with it. I was like, mm, I feel somebody out there would still want to buy. Forgetting the fact that I, well, I didn't plan to create awareness of the collection before actually launching, which brings me to my third point. So for if you want to be able to sell a product, right, or launch a business at any time, like you really, it doesn't have any specific time or seasonal kind of thing and you still want to launch your business. Right now in 2020, the best way to actually get people anticipating for your um for your brand basically you want them to anticipate the product that you want to launch and the best way in 2020 for you to do that that i feel is actually effective is taking advantage of social media so basically you want to show the process the production process the, from the planning stage to the production and to yeah planning to production you want to make that stage available to the public to see so basically you'll be posting videos and posting pictures of like maybe let's say it's a clothing line like like a clothing line here and you want to um, launch the clothing line sorry clothing collection i always keep making that mistake anyway sorry a collection you want to launch that collection with three outfits in it yeah so you want to be able to um do videos or take pictures and post on your social media platforms yeah that would basically show the process planning process and production process of that collection so basically people get they get anticipated like people that want to buy they're like looking forward to the end result and they would want to purchase that way you're also giving people time to actually budget and make money available to actually buy this clothes that you want to sell which is one thing that i did not i didn't know how like i knew i was supposed to create anticipation but i didn't know how to and by the time i knew that i was supposed to create anticipation yeah i had already finished producing the ties so like i didn't have i only took like little footage and here and there which i still plan to post here on youtube i still like compile everything and still post them on youtube but my plan was to post it after the sales right and i don't know why i did that but that was my plan but in this case what you should actually do is do a video or a picture or anything that shows not just one like you need to be posting across let's say it's four months process you keep posting it across those four months every single day what did you do that day on this stuff film it document it and post it and like you get just let people know that this thing is coming so that they can anticipate and they can plan to buy so now these last two tips that i want to give yeah are things that are not related to like things before launching is more of i'm sorry launching a product is more of things you do before launching the business as a whole like from the beginning yeah so the first thing you want to do is watch out for naming your business and branding your business so like naming your business you want to give your business a name that is not what you're selling like people like let's say i want to start selling um lipsticks now and i name my business lipsticks like a name that is has lipsticks inside or that basically just says i'm selling lipstick one day in future when i want to scale i can't like i have to change the name because then it won't make sense if i'm not selling a whole makeup line and everything and my business name is lipsticks you get so like you want to name your business something that is broad that encompasses like that niche so let's say you're going into the beauty industry and you want you just want to go into the beauty industry you want to name your business something that speaks of beauty as a whole and not just a particular product so that's for naming and you also want to give a name that somebody else is not using especially in your country which because like you're going to like have issues with registration and all of that so you want to make sure that the name you're using is something that somebody else isn't using right so um i think those are like the two major things and yeah you want the name to be catchy and easy for people to pronounce and get used to yeah 
So like, I'm going to use Nuban Beauty as an example. So you have Nuban Beauty. Nuban Beauty is very easy to pronounce. Like, it's not too long. You get and everything. So that's it. And then I also want to use Google as an example. Google is very easy to pronounce. Like, and then I'm going to use my business as an example because I really do take my time to like find names for my business. My company as a whole is Ganeta Industries. And like Ganeta for short. A lot of my friends now call it Ganeta because like, so that's how I just started calling it Ganeta. So Ganeta is the name of my, you know, the mother brand because I have subsidiaries under my, my business. Asharia is a um, subsidiary to Ganeta Industries. Asharia. It's very easy to pronounce, like no stress, no stress. And the thing about naming is that the brand as a whole should be able to, um, um, everything should just come together. So now the second point is branding. So you really want to take your branding seriously. I'm a brand designer, so like I know this a lot. And I'm going to do a lot of videos on branding, like from now on to like whenever I'm tired, I guess. Uh, there are various ways you can go about branding. You can get a graphic designer to help you which is what you should i always advise you to do yeah because then graphic um, brand sorry graphic designers that specialize in brand design yes so brand designers here yeah, they are trained they actually know how to understand the brand the psychology behind the brand and they will design to that you get so if you are a makeup brand and you have this particular feel that you want your brand you want your brand to emit this particular type of um, atmosphere and you want it to attract a particular type of people your brand designer would know that well okay yeah or you can use um you can do research right so that you don't like even if you want to do it by yourself it shouldn't be something that you do and stick to for the long run it was something that you do by yourself to start and then maybe in the next five months of launching then you now do a rebrand that is now properly done by a brand designer so you're not even if you do your brand design with canva or anything like that or wix logo all the stuff don't stick with it because one these softwares and these programs are open to the whole world literally it's on the internet anybody anywhere can actually search and there's a high chance that somebody is going to pick what you are picking even if it's one person or two people and you don't want your brand to be the same as somebody else you don't want to be fighting brand images with somebody else so you want something that somebody will design specifically for your brand so if you're going to be using canva or wix logo anything like that yeah just make sure that you're doing it for the short period of time just for you to launch and make some money to now pay a brand designer by the way guys if you guys want to do brand design or anything like that I'll put down the link to my company's Instagram account. That's Serifix. Serifix is our brand design company. And I'll link the Instagram account down below. Um, if you open the Instagram account, it's going to be empty. That's because I just created a new account. Because the old one had an issue and I've not posted anything there yet. Because I'm training, I'm currently training employees to like work. So when we're done, definitely we'll start posting things there. But like you can definitely send me a DM because I will do it for you. I'm like, I mean, I'll do it for you. Yeah, thank you. Um, if you are still skeptical about our works, just send a DM and like, I'll send you guys a portfolio so you can see we do have a portfolio. We have worked with other brands before, yes. Yeah. So that being said, I think that's the last thing I want to mention. Yes. So thank you guys. Let me just do a recap, like you know, of all the points so that you don't, you don't get confused. So first thing is planning. Second thing is timing, right? Third thing is um creating anticipation before the launch. Fourth thing is branding and naming. Four points, guys. And that's it for this video. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, share. And put your points down in the comments if there's something that you think could also work. Because I also want to learn what in this together you get. So, another, so other people can learn as well. Check out my other videos here. Yeah, check out my other videos here. And subscribe as well. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.